we're gonna go through different things that we have in Smart Console and basically why we need that. And answering the question why we need that is this is where we manage our policies, whether it's access control policy or threat prevention policy that is based on, let's say, finding bad signatures, whatever. This is basically for um, managing your policy. We have four tabs here on the left to the screen, gateways and service, security policy, logs and monitor, and manage settings, all right? Uh, we're gonna start with gateways and servers. This is where uh, you can see all of your management servers and all of your gateways that are being managed by your management server. I have a management server. You can see a name, IP address, version that is being installed. Remember, we're gonna upgrade it to already.30 later. Don't panic just because you see 10 here. Um, we see active blades, just the picture uh, where it's being installed. Uh, you can see open server if it's um, like virtualization platform uh, or you're gonna see an actual appliance name. Recommend updates and anyway, pay attention to that, that thing here. Um, and here I have my gateway. Uh, all right, we're gonna double click for my gateway and see what I have here. Um, in general properties, I have my main IP address to which I've assigned my uh, license. I can see uh, all NISTER information and I can see all the blades that I have enabled on that device. So all of these blades uh, are related to the gateway. If you want something that is related to the management side of Checkpoint, you go here to the management. And since it's a distributed setup, I don't have anything here. If we're gonna click uh, to our management, you will see only management tab here, which um, has a lot of things enabled, right? Another thing that is really important is how you add your gateway here and then establish a secure internal communication between your management server and your gateway. So you basically establish a trusted connection, you know, from uh, your uh, checkpoint devices. Uh, the way you can do that, you can click uh, either here, that thing, whatever you want to call it, like a star, and then go for uh, gateway. You can choose wizard mode or classic mode. Wizard mode is some kind of thing that they call it, they want to simplify it. Just click it and it's taking some time. Just type in the gateway name and IP address and you go through the wizard. Honestly, I wouldn't say it's really uh, easy. Uh, for me, the best way to do, just click gateway and classic mode. You're gonna see the tab that I showed you before. All right, this is the tab that I showed you. Then you type in the name, you type in the IP address, and then what do you do? You uh, type in communication where you're gonna see um, a trusted communication. So I just wanna show you on the real example here, uh, secure internal communication, trust established, communication, trust established. You know what, we're gonna reset it just to show you how to do that. So to establish trust, okay, I'm, you know what? If I don't trust this device right now, I'm gonna do um, a reset. I'm gonna click reset. And um, all right, reset is done. So I hope it actually uninitialized. So uh, the status that we have here, test six status, could not get sick properties from peer object. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go uh, for our gateway. And we have to reset sick from a command line as well. This is the way it works. So it's a two way reset if you wanna do it properly. So from a command line, you connect um, to your gateway, you type in the command IP, um, you type in a command CP config, and go for um, number five, secure internal communication, which is stands for SIC. Just type in five, and 
would I like to reinitialize communication? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I'm gonna enter VPN one to three. Retype this as well. All right. Then I have to exit. I just try to establish a new um, SIC. Whenever you try to establish a new SIC, it kind of resets an old one. And you have to wait until it's complete. Otherwise, you will not be able to establish uh, from your management side. Let's just give it a bit of time. I just had to reconnect um, to my gateway just because w once you uninstall SICK, you uninstall the policy that you have. Look, uh, I have that machine connected to through the gateway and I lost internet and everything. So I have to had to reconnect. Just keep that in mind. It's really important. But if you are resetting SICK, this is the proper way to do that. You have to do it from both sides because that's the way it is. This, it's trusted connection. You have to trust from both sides. Um, you type in the password. Okay, we'll go back to our gateway, secure internal communication, and we're gonna try initialize SIC with the password I gave in CP config in CLI. VPN123. This is the password I, I really trust, guys. Okay, now trust is established. I'm gonna test it. Communicating. Um, all right, we're gonna close this for now. Uh, click. And once you do that, you're gonna receive a topology. Uh, the topology that we set up in web UI. You're gonna need that for proper policy management. Um, all right, so over here on the main page, uh, another thing that I want to show you is, so what do you do with these um, names here? Publish, discard, session, and install policy. So uh, when we say publish, we mean we publish the changes that we made in Smart Console to the database of the management server. If we click discard, these changes will be discarded from Smart Console, from, from here. Nine changes that like you see here, you know, with the yellow um, circle here, th they will be discarded or published if you want to. Once you publish these settings, you're gonna have to install the policy. You're gonna, like the management server is gonna get that database and push it to the gateway. So you're gonna click install policy. If you haven't published the session and when you click install policy, they're gonna offer you to do that. You will not be able to install it without publishing. You're gonna do that 100%. But they give you the option to, you know, like think about what you did because you might have done something I did. I just lost connection to my, um, you know, machine because I installed the policy using SICK. And then you click publish and install if you want to install that policy. I do want to install that policy because any change you make here in Smart Console, it will not take place until un unless you install a policy, unless you. Um, actually do with a secure internal communication what I did but this is like um, you know an, an exclusion okay so then uh, there are different types of policies that we have there's actually two of them the first one is access control policy the second one is threat prevention policy we're gonna install them both for now and click install and over here we're just gonna see that and wait to see what's gonna happen Thank you.